All right, hi everyone, Paul down at CCRV. You must be recognising me by now. We've got a new addition to our stock now. It's the 253 FBS Puma. A really nice addition. This is a perfect size for touring. Uh, I'm going to show you around it, so some of the outside features and see what we've got. Right, here we go. Oh, let me just, let me just show you this light. This is really good. Oh, there we go. There you are. How about that then? See that? All lights up, so now you're coming down the road. Uh, lovely. Right, so what we've got is a full fiberglass cone, very aerodynamic. Uh, these are probably, they, they are cheaper to tow than the Rockwoods because they're quite aerodynamic and they're light. I think this one runs out about, let's have a quick look here. Uh, lengthwise, if you have a look on there, Dave, let's lengthwise, uh, with 28 feet. And that's from the manufacturer. This is 28 feet long, so it'll comfortably tow on any Ford Range or anything like that. You'll be well in with the distances and measurements and all that for campsite. So we're laughing on that one. So if we go in here, a couple of additional features. Gas bottle goes in there. This is the locker under here for storage. As you see, that goes back sort of for miles there for storage. Outside here, we get a, a mini fridge and a grill, which goes on here. That's all standard. We've got this nice awning that goes on. All LED lights, even the speakers light up blue. So what more can I say? We've got the residential, uh, residential steps. Light as a feather. That's pretty much it on the outside. Um, we'll hop inside. Right, we'll start with the bathroom. Just pot ourselves in there. There we've got a nice full height shower there. Typical sort of residential style shower. There's none of the old iffy sort of caravan ones. Uh, you can get in there and have a decent shower. And we've got a toilet here to the left and a hand basin, a nice vanity unit. An all important ceiling fan to keep all the moisture out. All these are equipped with LED lights, all low energy and all that. So that's the shower, really nice room there. And then we just pop into the bedroom. So we haven't made the bed. Uh, that's just come off the boat, this one. So I thought we'd do a quick, quick video. We've got a really nice appointed bedroom there. A couple of uh, windows either side. It's nice lights, air conditioning is pumped through. And over here on this wall here, if you want a telly, we can put a TV up there. All the aerials are through that, so you can lay in bed and watch a bit of television. Right, if we come back through here, this one has piles of storage. So there's cupboards all the way along here. I went up that one, you can't see, but Dave has a look in there. That's a decent size wardrobe, that is. You can get all your clothes in there. So you haven't got to panic about defragging everything. Plenty of drawers. And again, cupboard space here put your shoes and all that in there it's all racked out shirts and stuff like that can go in there so that's this one does have piles of storage right here we're down into the uh, all important living area kitchen area there's a cracking kitchen it's nice colors light and bright uh, they put these fantastic fridges in them now lovely fridge there that all lights up blue and then we've got the freezer up the top uh, these are 12 volt 240 and the gas so and they're, they're just same as a household fridge basically so good good old fridge convection microwave plenty of cupboards a nice little oven there all lights up they do love a bit of blue on these just to give you a bit of a uh, atmosphere in here i think somewhere as well this lights up somewhere do you know that switches on dave I'm not sure no no, but right, so we've got the sink, nice little bit of modern bit of wood there, lovely old appliances and all the fixtures and fittings here we've got. As we come around here, this one actually has solar charging on this one. Uh, we put a battery on there, it shows you what it's charging. So this comes with it, included in the price. So the battery is 65% charged. So this is actually running on solar at the moment, this whole unit. Here's the control panel. Everything's on there, it won't work because we've got, oh, that's 12 volt. Yeah, and that's 12 volts, so they will work. Uh, everything on here is 12 volt. So all that panel will work. And this shows you the battery level, fresh, black, gray, 
all the tanks on these, which are for holding tanks for water. We'll do that in another video. Um, oh, there you go, look, there's the lights. I found the switch. See that all lights up under there? Let's shut the door there. Yeah, nice. It all looks nice. Right, so as we go around, we've got theatre seating on this one. These are lovely old theatre seating here. They sort of recline. Sorry about the state of me. We've been picking up today. Oh, I look a bit of a wreck, but there you go. That's the way it goes. Right. Theatre seating. Oh, we've got a lovely U-shaped dinette here that goes... This goes down on here, and it all folds down to the bed. So it'd be ideal for kids. So you can sit here, and then obviously up that end, we've got a fire. And we'll put a TV in there, and it's got a nice sound bar. So all in all, this is a cracking unit. If you want a tour, have a bit of fun, get on the road at a reasonable price. This is probably the one for you. Again, if you made it to the end, thanks for watching the channel. Please subscribe, it helps us out, it's free. Keep the channel going. Thanks for watching. Residential steps, light as a feather.